we're back with some more Manisha the Dark Descent. I changed my resolution or whatever screen up, so I hope it looks better instead of like the stupid bars. Alright, so it's just sorry, I just gotta move my mic. Okay. Sorry if that was really loud. So we're looking for this Alexander dude after finding our lantern. There's very little oil so in there. And Harry Potter's room. Alright, let's get going. Come on, broom. Actually, you guys know that room I need to get? There's something here, look. Oh, switch. Hey, it's behind there. The children cheered him on. His name was steadily written. I forgot. Sorry, I forgot to read that. Alright. Where are we? I guess I know how to run. Anybody home? Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Alright, I guess we have had some interactions with Alexander. More tin boxes. And oh, oh, so I'm trying to have stuff. I know you're there. Let's see if we can go through this door. Oh, oh, oh. Go. Open. Please. Alright, nope. Matters don't work in you, cockroaches. Smash them! Smash them! Okay, so where shall we go? Where shall we go? Let's go. Let's see what's down here. We should probably run a little more. So, laboratory and wine cellar. But I'm very. I'm one of those people who hate. Like, no, voices up. Somebody's getting raped. Raped it. -ed. Oh, wait. Uh, Taylor plays. Taylor had played through this game so many times. He said he went through the whole game, and he had like, I don't know. I think he said he had like forty something to the boxes at the end of it. Alright, travelers to Dover might eh, might go through Sanderbury. He made sure to play it, pay a visit to avoid a sense of guilt. I, ah, I hate when I drink something and then start reading. <laughs> What's this? Oh yeah, we're in the archives, I think. Rare books. Alright. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. All right, I guess we were looking for something, and something went wrong. I don't 
trust books. Something there? No. Nope. Come on. Uh, anything on these bookshelves? Come on. Library of rare books. Okay, uh, and. Right, come on, there's gotta be something in this room. If I have to tear at every book, I will. But it'll probably get boring. Alright, whatever, let's keep going. Sweet. Okay, nothing on top of, top of it. Whoever wanted to get out of here, I got out of here in a hurry. Right. Hmm. Ooh, chair. Don't be kind of stuff for me. Oh, dinner box. And nothing. God damn it. Alright. Study, alright. What the hell was that? Fucking talking. Shirts. Shirt, uh, nothing and nothing. We got a note here. But let's oh, stupid chair. Nothing. Ah, come on. Tinderbox. And also nothing. Alright, more notes. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. <laughs> so you know, at the end, I was trapped. In case, in case you didn't guess, oh crap, more books. Alright, let's try and make this as efficient as I can. Actually, screw the books. Hello? Actually, I didn't finish that hallway. Let me just check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Alright, what's in here? Oh, we already went in. No, we already went. Uh, did we go in here? Yeah, we did. It's one big freaking circle. Okay, we didn't go in here. So some blood on some rocks, that's perfectly normal. Oil, sweet. Just probably stop wasting my lantern and start using these tender boxes. Nope. Floor plane, plant, plant. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it.
right spooky okay let's oh, open a lot of notes this episode damn Are not breakable by hand, eh? It's like I have more notes. Hmm. I like story, but give you that much story. It's quite oh god. Alright. Let's read this. Oh, never mind, we're not reading it. We're passing out. Oh. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most 